Hello everyone and welcome to my YouTube channel, Mr. Mike Sharman. My name is Mike and you're here for The Daily Quiz. Uh, the Daily Quiz, take your pick, episode number 20 today. Uh, the way it works is fairly simple, 10 general knowledge questions each, followed by one of four answers, A, B, C or D. One of them is right, the other three are wrong. Please give me the correct answer or the letter that corresponds with that answer, which will be either A, B, C or D. If you don't know, have a guess, you lose nothing if you're wrong, it's a point if you're right, and you're just trying to beat your own scores or whoever you might be playing with, uh, work colleague perhaps, um, family member. It'd be great to hear how you're doing via the comments with your scores. Subscribe to the YouTube channel if you can, turn the notifications on, and a like and share as well. We're nearly ready to start. Pens, papers ready, I'll give you the answers at the end, but just before we do, the eagle-eyed and the uh, uh, careful listeners of you quizzes and quizettes out there noticed I made a little mistake yesterday. Uh, I do all the quizzes uh, myself and, uh, and present them. Not a mistake in the questions and answers, but uh, regular quiz goers of mine before the daily quiz, you know, in, in, in pubs, one-off quizzes, etc. will know there's nearly always a, a country question. And option D in that is always Wales. Yesterday, it slipped through the net and there was no country question and no Wales. Now, I'd already pre prepared the quiz for today. That means tomorrow you'll have a double Wales question. Hurrah! So quiz number 21 tomorrow will make up for it with a second Wales question. Thank you for letting me know. It's great to know you're, uh, you're paying attention out there more than I was. Further back to today, it's uh, the daily quiz. It's uh, general knowledge time. Take your pick. Question number one, quiz number 20. Good luck. Question one, which of the following conditions is also known as icterus? I-C-T-E-R-U-S. Which of the following conditions is also known as icterus? I-C-T-E-R-U-S. Is it A, eczema, B, jaundice, C, measles, or D, a verruca? Which of the following conditions is also known as icterus? A, eczema, B, jaundice, C, measles, or D, verruca? Question one for you today, that one. Again, choice of four on all of them, so have a guess if you don't know. You might just surprise yourself, you never know. Question number two. Which group had a hit with shiny, happy people? Which group had a hit with shiny, happy people? It's question two. Was it A, the Bee Gees? B, the Eagles? Uh, C, R, E, M? Or D, the Wurzels. Which group had a hit with shiny, happy people? A, Bee Gees, B, Eagles, C, R, E, M, or D, Wurzels. One of them is right. I'll give you the answers at the end. I'll run through them by letter for you as well, top to bottom, as always. If you've missed a quiz, they're all here on the channel. You can go back, um, try them again, or take one on if you've missed it. Uh, question number three. In the Western Church, question three, when is the Feast of Stephen? In the Western Church, when is the Feast of Stephen? It's question three. Is it A, the 1st of December? B, the 24th of December? C, the 26th of December? Or D, the 31st of December? In the Western Church, when is the Feast of Stephen? A, the 1st of December. B, the 24th of December, C, the 26th of December, or D, the 31st of December? It's question three. How do we think to that one? Might be right, you won't know, but you need to go for a guess. Question number four. What name is given to the groups in which killer whales travel in? What name is given to the groups in which killer whales travel in? It's question four. Is it A, kennels, B, pods, C, sounds, or D, ubers? <laughs> One of them's right. What's the name of the groups uh, given to the groups in which killer whales travel in? Is it A, kennels, B, pods, C, sounds, or D, ubers? Question four. Nearly halfway through today, we get to that point with this one. Question number five. 
the television programme Spitting Image enjoyed a hit song with which of the following? The TV programme Spitting Image enjoyed a hit song with which of the following? Was it A, Chicken Song? B, Elephant Song? C, Spider Song? Or D, Wasp Song? The TV programme Spitting Image enjoyed a hit song with which of the following? A, Chicken Song? B, Elephant Song? C, Spider Song? Or D, Wasp Song? It's question five. Spitting Image there, going back a little bit, although uh, recently uh, made uh, or is making a comeback. Question number six. Which mechanical body part was first successfully transplanted in 1982? Which mechanical body part was first successfully transplanted in 1982? Your options here. A, ankle. B, heart. C, hip. Or D, knee. Which mechanical body part was first successfully transplanted in 1982? A, ankle. B, heart. C, hip. Or D, knee. Question number six. Back in 1982, that one. Question seven. Which country's wine was found to contain large amounts of antifreeze in 1985? Which country's wine was found to contain large amounts of antifreeze in 1985? Uh, question seven. Was it A, Austria? B, Chile? C. Spain or D. Wales. Which country's wine was found to contain large amounts of antifreeze in 1985? A. Austria. B. Chile. C. Spain or D. Wales. Didn't forget the Welsh one today. <laughs> Remember, we'll uh, give you two uh, questions in tomorrow's quiz with Wales to make up for me forgetting it yesterday. That was number seven. Wine with loads of antifreeze in 1985. A, Austria, B, Chile, C, Spain, D, Wales. That's question seven. Question number eight. The word scrip, S-C-R-I-P, scrip, means which of the following? The word scrip means which of the following? Question eight. Is it A, coarse fabric? B, gardening tool? C, an ironed collar? Or or D, a shares certificate. The word scrip means which of the following? A, coarse fabric. B, gardening tool. C, an ironed collar. Or D, shares certificate. It's question eight. Two to go. Here's the first of them. Question nine. With the atomic number 30, three zero, which chemical element is the first element in group 12 of the periodic table and also known as spelter? With the atomic number 30, which chemical element is the first element in group 12 of the periodic table and also known as spelter? Is it A, copper? B, lead? C, tin? Or D, zinc? Which atomic, uh, sorry, with the atomic number 30, which chemical element is the first element in group 12 of the periodic table, also known as spelter? Is it A, copper, B, lead, C, tin, or, Z, or I nearly went Z, zinc, or D, zinc? There we go, easy for me to say, not. Copper, lead, tin, zinc, A, B, C, D, and number nine. And finally today, question 10, which sauce is used in the dish? Eggs Benedict. Which sauce is used in the uh, dish Eggs Benedict? Is it A, cheese, B, hollandaise, C, parsley, or D, white? Which sauce is used in the dish Eggs Benedict? A, cheese, B, hollandaise, C, parsley, or D, white? You might just want to hit the pause button now as we've reached the end of the questions. When you take me off pause, I'm going to give you all the answers. So if you want a bit of thinking time, hit pause now. Because here are your answers to today's quiz. If the daily quiz take you, pick episode 20, question number one. Um, uh, which of the conditions I gave you is known as icterus? That would be jaundice. The group who had a hit with shiny happy people, question two. C-R-E-M. 
The Feast of Stephen in the Western Church, question three, is C, the 26th of December. Number four, the name given to the groups in which killer whales travel in is B, pods. Spitting image had a hit in question five with A, the chicken song. Number six, the mechanical body part first successfully transplanted in 1982. B, heart. The country's wine found to contain large amounts of antifreeze in 1985 was A, Austria. The word scrip in question eight is D, a share certificate. The atomic number 30 uh, spelter, that's D, zinc. And eggs benedict, the saucer after their B, hollandaise. So if you're looking for the letters top to bottom, it, today it's B, C, C, B, A, B, A, D, D, B. Let me know what you did score wise out of 10 in the comments. Please like, uh, give us a like whilst you're there. Share it as well so other people can play the quiz. If you are able to subscribe to the YouTube channel as well, it would be great. Um, on that YouTube channel, you'll find a few um, other things, a couple of musical bits, uh, and also the Daily Grown, um, a daily dad, a dad joke pun um, as well. Um, subscribe and you get everything in there sort of notified through to you automatically. That's it for the quiz today. I will be back tomorrow, episode 21 of the Daily Quiz. Ten new questions coming your way. I do hope you can join me then. Whatever you do with yourself between now and then, please do stay safe and I will look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Take care, everyone.